So, hello you all video watchers and whatever cinemas you are all over the world. This is my mean reflection or major paper about this journey, what I have been exploring during this spring since January when we started in Finland. I've been participating in this Mondragon University master's program for open innovation and entrepreneurship. I have had no idea what is open innovation or entrepreneurship. I may have found some questions which are to me really interesting. So hold your horses, here we go. For me the key question when we are handling with human beings like I believe most of the watchers are is that how do we enable people to behave differently? And I want to crystallize that there's huge difference between that managers try to make people to behave differently. We have to understand that it's, we cannot make them behave differently. We have to be able to enable and empower them to behave differently. For me, the journey has been an experience and it has changed my mind. There has been war, wars crashing down and new bridges built up between the things. So I believe that it has been really good, really good. Uh, there's no way back. For me, one of the key learnings is that after San Francisco, what I realized that the, our, our mind is a trap. Knowledge is the problem. The biggest and only challenge is to think differently, really differently. So we are talking about human beings and their heads, which are the problem, or is it the solution and potential? The knowledge is the problems and the science at some point, at least. I strongly believe that the good life results from better thoughts. This has been said already in the ancient times and it still lives among of us. And in San Francisco, Alex said it in the idea, only failure is that we don't learn anything. That's where we start from. We have to understand that we talk about cultures. Culture is set by executives, whether they want it or not. This was said by Esko Renovoga Alanko years ago when I met him. And this is something what we have to understand. And Juha Laakkonen a few weeks ago, the general manager of Lapset said, culture eats the strategy for breakfast. So culture is the strategy. And in San Francisco and Valley area, the no mistake is the culture. It means that all the failures, mistakes are welcome. And the only failure is that if we don't learn out of them. So what do, we, what do good leaders do differently that they create a culture like it is in Twitter that everybody behaves like an innovation leader or innovation manager? I believe that's the biggest thing, question for big organization, old farts, as I could say, organization of, with history of 100 years or so. Change is slow and, perfect, and perfection is the slow death. One human being cannot do much, but you have to be able to empower everybody to behave like innovation manager or innovation leader or entrepreneur. And in Twitter, I believe they do it quite nicely because they all are geeks. Geeks have a developer built inside. And they have the leading thoughts in which they say, get excited and do things. It's quite simple. And that leads me to that what good leaders really do. They focus on informal interaction. They understand that it's all created through in interaction between human beings. If we only focus on what we already know, we won't get much out. But if we are allowed to talk about what happened during the last weekend and what was the strange dream I saw, we are able to connect new things with new way. So it's the doing which creates culture. It's the doing which creates the culture and that's what we talk about. We have to be able to do things fast not wait for years, not plan for three years with the perfect business idea because as time passes by and nothing happens. We have to be able to make people interact, but not only face to face, also beneath, under the surface, in virtual ways. This is the way to tackle this problem.
knowledge is the problem. If we only focus on what we already knew, we won't get much out. We have to be able to create situations where people can come together in informal situation and interact between each other. And that's what good leaders like Juha Laakkonen and Lapset have realized. Doing creates culture. And quickly in three steps I can say what we talk about. We talk about space, time and permission. And there's a huge difference between the space and place. This place is what we have been normally focusing on. We have been building beautiful places, beautiful buildings, nice meeting rooms, but nothing happens. Because we don't understand it's only 20% of the thing It's tangible. The biggest thing is the intangible, the atmosphere, the culture, which is set by the executives. Values come in structures to say Carlos in Saragossa. And this is what the managers won't understand. They don't understand that there exists something else than tangible things. They don't understand that there is atmosphere. There's the culture which is created by doing. Time. Time is always a problem. That's why we want to plan things perfectly because we don't want to do mistakes. But that's what we should be doing all the time. More and more protosits, city prototypes, protosits, protosits. Do it, do it. Help people to lead themselves. It doesn't help if you have a very beautiful meeting room, but people have no time to use it. You have to help people to lead themselves. So, here comes the line from D. Hawk. Whatever your status is, it's 50 percent is about your self-leadership. For every human being in each organization. If you are able to free people to lead themselves, you will get huge results. And permission, people need your permission. Show the way by starting. To start is to lead. And if people really follow you, then you are doing something what is good and will success. You have to understand that, that doing creates the culture. You have to understand it's the informal interaction what good leaders do. They don't focus on tangible things. They focus on intangible things. And this is maybe the thing what Simon Sinek says about start with the why. And the final note is you cannot build trust. Trust is built by your own actions. It's missing here the own actions. This is what the managers won't understand. They believe that can, they can build up trust among people. They can do it as a play, but it won't happen that way. You have to do it your own way. You start something, you start doing something, you start creating culture. And that gives permission to each individual in the organization lead themselves. And then you have surroundings and tools where they can play around and create something beautiful. This is where you get open innovation and entrepreneurship out. And if you need help with this, you will have monkey business. Monkey business has been on this journey to create itself again to transform itself something better so a few weeks ago we were in Bilbao after five long years and our nowadays our key message is monkey business transforming cultures your guide to new culture this was my major reflection about this mean journey this far have a nice day monkey have a nice yellow summer see you soon somewhere in transforming cultures. Do something and you'll create a new culture.